ball field. Uh, today I'm going to give my uh, propel cloud rider a shot. First time I ever flew one like this. Uh, not going to use the camera. Uh, scary looking controller, that's for sure. But they say to put it on the ground first, on a level spot. Which that's probably good. And then attach. Yeah, battery. It goes right here. And it only goes one way. Oh, what's that? That came apart. There it is. Well, during the daytime, it's kind of hard to see it. get everything in there with that. There's something that's got to go in there. Or maybe up here. There we go. There's a little slot that's got to fit in. Or else it don't fit right. There we go. Okay, the battery's in, but I wasn't able to do it standing behind it. It's got a little scratch on it. I kind of think this was a refurbished one, so... Oh my god, this could be dangerous. it because I just couldn't get the controls it's got the same thing as those little ones now where you got to be on the accelerator button at all times with these and that didn't stay closed that really wasn't that hard of a landing I just uh, wasn't ready for the type of controls it was but that's why you bring it out to a big place. Uh, it's being pretty heavy on the controls. So, I'm getting better. The feel of it is just different than what the orbit was. But it's flying pretty nice, pretty responsive. I like the way that you can, you know, let it drop and it's like a thrill ride. Nice. That's kind of cool. That uh, does some flips. That was a backward one. There's a forward one. Uh, even though it's so bright out, it's still easy to see the, the lights. I don't know if you can see them, but there they are. So you got the green is the front of it, and the red is the back. Cut the engine, boom, and then turn. Oh, let it drop a little bit too far. These new uh, toggle setups where the left one is like not spring loaded or anything really challenges you because you got to maintain the engine speed to have her manual. And you know, if you're moving around, I'm sure there's a forward backward trim here, but I'm 
not sure which is which there. Then all I had to do whenever I was getting too high there and a little bit out of control was cut that engine and man it just dropped. And then just before it hits the ground you kind of hook it back up. Oops. At that time I was doing two things at once. You got a pretty hard landing. Well so far but I'm not using the camera because that does take a battery on these things. Uh, walking back and forth picking them up and putting them in a, in a uh, safe place to take off from is eats up a lot of battery <laughs> but uh, so far I can see that it's pretty decent and I'm flying into a wind here so it's really been tough really been tough to control I hit my own fucking car. See, the wind was uh, <laughs> the wind was picking up, and I took off too high, too quick, and I got to gain control of it first, which is tricky when you're trying to fight a little bit of the wind. I got to kind of keep going into it. I'm able to steady it up. Seems like a little sluggish, but that could be the wind again. Oops. <laughs> Too close to the ground for that one. Uh, but that's cool uh, I didn't want to take it off on me so I didn't want to get it too high to do a flip and it just shoot off in the open air uncontrollably but so far this thing seems pretty cool I think it was a, a, a refurbished one Oh, a little too hard there. I'm gonna get the hang of that. The small ones I can do it pretty a good bit of the time. Just cut them engines when it starts to get it. And then bring it back on. Oops. Eh, we're not gonna walk the whole way back. We'll see what it's getting to stand a little bit. Tall grass. bit quicker at uh, recognizing front and backs right away and switching over the controls in my brain although I still uh, fuck that up but it's getting a little sluggish probably because there's so much fighting the wind here The 
see a little bit uh, rough on switching over. Oops, I don't know if it was dying out on me, but the uh, controls are like uh, totally. I couldn't really control it, so I'm thinking maybe the battery died down a little bit. There was a little run thing on here somewhere. I saw it in one of my drone shows or movies, videos. Looks like somebody drove through a little bit ago, but battery's still strong. And if that's the battery from the chopper, it's got TX, then it's doing good. But I'm only going at 60%, and I'm not using the camera, so you know that saves you battery. But I think we're getting some pretty decent fly time. cool just barely nicked the ground it's really hovering there What's up here? It's really fighting the wind, I think, or the battery's dying down and it's just getting sluggish. It's not reacting quite as fast as I want it to. But uh, so far, I mean, you can see the leaves kind of blowing and everything, so it's fighting the wind. Look at the flags over there, and they're coming towards us. So maybe we get uh, turned around and go away from us with the, instead of fighting the wind. Nope. The rule of thumb is to fight the wind. So it's coming straight at us. And that's what we're doing. That's why I think it's staying fairly under control. Uh, we're going to go up to 80%. Maybe it'll be able to, whoops, fight the wind a little bit. Instead of talking, I should have been paying attention to what I was doing there. Yep, I'm not getting any indicator. Uh, that's saying the battery's dying down. But it keeps wanting to land on 80% here. So I think the batteries are getting low. Oh, yeah, they're blinking. <laughs> Maybe I didn't notice that the last time. But, well, I've sucked all the juice out of it. Don't know how much time that was. Had to be a good 10 minutes or so, I think. But uh, that's the Propel Cloud Rider. The one they sent me to replace my orbit until my orbit comes in. Pretty similar, uh, the batteries are different, but other than that, it's about the same size. And we will take the battery out, turn this off. And we're having difficulties with that part, but getting my finger in there to pull it up. Unfortunately, you gotta grab it by the wire. So it's tough getting in and out, but we got it. Well, this is uh, the testing grounds for all my new bigger drones. Uh, so it gives me a chance to learn how to steer them around. But with that wind, not bad. The propel cloud rider. 
Till next time, have a good one.